So in continuation of my video explanation on some key things you need to know about the solar power system. This is a simple solar charge controller. I've explained how this thing works and some key things you need to know how to operate it. This is the bulk converter I've also made. It's also for solar charging. But what is the difference between this one and this one? This one, the biggest challenge you have here is a lot of your energy is going to be wasted. If you are using a 40 watt solar panel, you will end up dissipating the remaining 20 watts without necessarily using it. Then for this one, you are going to be drawing more power than, in short, exactly almost 40, about 90% of efficiency. Why this one only give you about 50% of efficiency? How, what, what makes this one has that less and what makes this one, oh, this one is designed with a, an inductor inside, that is a coil, a coil that you wrap a wire on it, on a ferrite core. It's inside this, which multiply the excess voltage or current. It converts the excess voltage into current so that you have more current. Let's take for example this is our 40, this is our F7 amp battery from UPS. This battery, if we are to use any of these two, any of these two charge controller to charge this battery, it will interest you to know that within one hour this bulk converter will get this battery fully charged. And if you are to use this one, you might spend the next two, three hours before it will get fully charged. Can you see the difference? So the choice is yours, but it's not too bad. If you want to use this one, I will in with time to come, I will, I'm going to explain to you how you can improve the efficiency of this. All you do is you introduce an inductor to this wire that goes to the battery before the output that is this positive line. Then you put a diode in a reverse bias mode so that as the pulses are coming, the excess voltage that is coming in is going to be pumped into your battery. That is what that is exactly how I do it with this one. Even though I'm using a 555 timer IC inside this is a lot of some other things. Then this is where you can adjust the duty cycle depending on the voltage of the the kind of solar panel you are using. Thank you very much.